Hey everybody, Elon from Keeping Carlson here, and I'm making this video because I've made a cool schedule tool, which I've been using to help me succeed in my fantasy leagues, thought that I would share it with all of you. So it's over at keepingcarlson.com slash tools, and basically what it does is it's going to help you look at the NHL schedule and make decisions for your fantasy team. So step one is just go to file, make your own copy, and then you can play with it as much as you want. So once you've made your copy, the first tab here is the schedule, which is everything you think it would be. A nice weekly look at every single team and who they're playing in that week. The only tab you need to worry about changing is this week tab. That's why it's highlighted in green here. So you go in, choose which week you want to look at, and then you'll see on that week which teams are playing which other teams during that stretch. And you can see what dates those represent there. So for example, in this week, I'm recording this on February 23rd, I could see here that Dallas is playing Florida three times and then Tampa Bay on Saturday. And I've got some data about the week here, how many games, uh, how many home games, how many off day games, that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday games, and then how many light day games, which are similar to off days, but counting just days where there are less than 10 games being played. So for example, you're going to probably want to stream someone from Minnesota or LA, but you're not so interested in streaming someone from Montreal who you probably won't be able to fit into your lineup on these busy days. Only one day, that's a light day that a Montreal player would get into your lineup. Okay, the other tab that I want to show you is the roster maximizer. This is like super handy. I use this all the time. So take a look at my team here. I've got two left. I have three left wings. I have Palat, Taylor Hall, and Max Pacioretty, and I only have two left wing spots. But I look at my free agent list, and I'm like, oh, wow, Nick Ritchie was just dropped. He's doing so well in the Boston top power play. Also, Alex Iafalo is available. Man, I'd love to get one of those guys, but do I even have room to ever fit them in my roster? Well, that's what the roster maximizer is for. So I'm going to pick a date range. Let's say, let's look for a month, like February 25th to uh, March 25th. In that span, I'm going to you put in here how many roster spots you have. So for example, here, like I showed you, I only have two left wing spots. So I'm going to put two. And then I just have to list which teams I have at which positions. So like, again, I have Taylor Hall, I have Max Pacioretty, and then I have Andre Palat. So those are the teams that I have at left wing. And now I'm going to get all the information I need to make my decision. So if we go to Boston, if I want to add Nick Ritchie. I'm going to only get four games. So what this shows you is here, there's, uh, there's going to be 15 games in total in that span that Boston plays, but only four of them are days where I'll actually be able to fit Richie in my roster. So that means on the other 11 days that Boston is playing, two of my Buffalo, Vegas, or Tampa guys are already going to be playing, so I don't even have room for Richie. Uh, but Alex Iafalo, that's a different story, right? LA is actually the team where I could get the most games from in that span if I add a left wing. So I could get nine out of uh, LA's 15 games. I'd only have six conflicts. So that would make Ayafalo a more interesting player for me to grab. So those are the first two tabs of my schedule too. I also have a goalie calculator here, which maybe I'll make another video to explain. I wanted to focus on the schedule stuff, but uh, yeah, go ahead, make your own copy. Uh, anytime the NHL changes the schedule, I'm going in here and updating it. I just updated it today and yeah, use it, uh, be well and good luck in your leagues.